Welcome to the Old Farts Fix-It Corner. You guessed it, I'm the Old Fart. What the Fix-It Corner is all about is me sharing with you some of the tricks and the things that I learned and the experience that I got through 20 plus years in the construction business to help you fix some of the things at home and save some money by doing it yourself. So let's look at the next project. In this project, we're going to build a set of benches that will double as the railing on our deck. We want the railing to be at least 36 inches tall and we want the bench to be comfortable to sit on. So looking for suggested designs uh, for bench measurement and comfort, we found that the suggested seat height would be between 17 and 19 inches and seat depth would be between 16 and 18 inches uh, with a one inch slope from front to back. Also the back height should be at least 16 inches with a five degree slope on it. I thought a good sturdy design would be to start with a four x four bolted to the double floor joist around the parameter of the deck. Then I would sandwich the four x four with two two by tens that would be cut to meet the five degree slope on the back and the slope on the seat. Then lay a 2x4 flat to brace the depth of the seat and another short 4x4 to support the front of the bench. Finally I would use 5 quarter by 6 for the surface of the seat and the back. I created a pattern and determined the measurements of all components by using brown shipping paper and creating a life-size drawing like the one you're looking at. I used a framing square, a speed square, and a yardstick. The speed square was to get the 5 degree angle for the back. After that, I cut out the pattern for the 2x10 and used it to mark the first 2x10. Then I used the cut 2x10 as the pattern for the rest of them. After making my cuts, I stained everything before installing it. I didn't film the cutting and the staining because I felt it needs no explanation. Now the 2x8s that we use for floor joists actually only measure 7 and a quarter, and then the 5 quarter by 6 that we used on top of that for the decking uh, actually measures 1 inch. So that's 8 and a quarter. So if we want our railing to be 36 inches above the floor, uh, then we have to add 8 and a quarter to 36 which gives us 44 and a quarter. So we will measure our four by fours and cut them off at 44 and a quarter inches. So we just put our mark on there. Square it off, run our square marks on around the, all three sides, three sides of the four by four. Now we'll cut on those two side marks, just like that. So we'll get that done. So as you know, uh, if you watch any of my previous videos, I use what I call rescue lumber, which is just lumber that uh, other people were throwing away or tearing something down, and I'll go and grab it. So we'll cut these and draw our holes, and then we'll stain them, sand them and stain them uh, the same color as our deck. But since our uh, two by eights are seven and a quarter, we want to drill two holes in here for carriage bolts. And uh, we'll keep it up from the bottom an inch and a half. And down from the top of the two by eight, an inch and a half. So that would be five and three quarters. And then we'll measure across. These are three and a half inches wide. So the center will be one and three quarters. So we'll get our marks in here. All right, so now we just want to drill a half inch hole because our carriage bolts are half inch. So attempting trying to keep the drill bit straight we want to drill down through. And 
the same way with this hole. And there we go. Now we can sand these and stain them and get them ready to install on our deck. Okay, if you remember, uh, we drilled holes in our 4x4s in the center of the 4x4, one and a half inches up from the bottom, and then five and uh, three quarter inches up from the bottom because our uh, two by eight is seven and a quarter inches. So what we want to do next is locate the center of where we want our post to be and measure up from the bottom here, one and a half inches and put a mark at that and where the center of the post will be. And then we're gonna take a one, a half inch drill bit because that's the diameter of our uh, carriage bolts is half inch. So we're gonna take a half inch drill bit, find our mark, and we're gonna drill a hole right through there. All right, then after we get that hole drilled, what we're gonna do is install one of our carriage bolts in the bottom hole that we've drilled and go ahead and snug it up, put a, a, the nut and washer on it and snug it up. Then we already have the hole drilled in our 4x4, but we don't have it into our uh, floor joist yet. So what we want to do is take and plumb our 4x4 up, and then we'll take our half inch drill and we'll go ahead and drill through this hole into the floor joist. We'll drill it right on through and then we'll we know that our 4x4 is plumb. All right after we get that hole drilled then we go ahead and put our carriage bolt in there. Pound it through. We get our washer and our nut and we place it on the back. All right so we got our washer got our Put our washer on. Get our nut on. It's a little tight at the beginning because of the wood and the threads from pounding it through the hole. All right, let me grab a, a ratchet. pop out around the washer or around the head of the of the carriage bolt and remember the bottom one was just snug so we want to go ahead and tighten it up and after about six months of installation uh, you want to come back and check all these because uh, the moisture in the uh, treated wood will dry up and the wood will shrink a little bit so they'll get loose. Okay, the next part of the process is to install these sides that we made. And what we want to do is we want to keep them flush with the outside of the uh, 4x4 and down against the deck. Okay, so. And I'm using 3 inch galvanized screws. And what we're going to want to do is put about four screws evenly spaced down across it. And then we just want to do the same thing on the other side. Just install uh, the other side on the other side of the 4x4. Four four. Alright, next we're going to install this 2x4 right in here. If you remember we cut the angles on it to match the angle of our seat. So 
All right, so with these two by fours, what I'm going to do is put them in and I'm lining the top of them up with the top of this and up against the back. And I'm going to pre drill it. Make it a little bit easier to get the screw in. And also, it'll help keep it from cracking. We don't want it to crack. Nope, oh, that pulled it down. So I'm going to put the sides in first. And then also I'm going to pre drill about three quarters of an inch down from the top. Again, I don't want it to crack. Same on this side. All right, now I need a couple screws. I've got one here. All right, so that flush. front one in first. Make sure I keep that going until I pull it all the way in. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish off putting my screws. All right, the next thing we're going to do is install the 4x4. If you remember, we cut an angle on the 4x4 uh, to match the angle of the, the bench. And so make sure you get your angle side up the high side out, the low side in. And then I'm going to slide that right in there, line it up with the 2 by 4 I'm going to pre-drill again so that we don't get it cracked. Get these started, and then I'll line it all up again. Get it lined up side to side, flush in the front. Go ahead and run our screws. In. Next thing is we're going to go ahead and plumb up this piece of 4x4. Four four. that way <sighs> all right you notice I put the marks on the <clears throat> down here and now that way when we uh, go to screw, we're going to screw up from the bottom, we'll hold it on those marks and we'll screw it in from the bottom. All right, then this is one spot where you are going to need a helper. You're going to need somebody up top to hold that 4x4 in place. And then you come underneath. And you're going to run the screws up through the bottom into the 4x4. Okay, 
Next video, we will install the horizontal braces and the surface boards for the seat and the back. And that will finish our project. See you next session. God bless.